light sound and force we can clearly see things around us during the day when there is enough light but try to see a book kept on a table in a dark room are you able to see it clearly no but why it is because light helps us to see objects without it we cannot see anything around us knowledge of light the sun is the main source of light on the earth during the day we cannot see the objects around us without light we also get light from candles torches bulbs and lamps these objects are called luminous objects as they emit their own light some of these objects like the sun stars etc are natural while others like lamps candles and torches are man made source of light most objects that do not give us light like trees chair table and books are called non luminous objects we can see non luminous objects when light falls on them scientific fact the strength of light is measured on the kelvin scale shadow a shadow is formed when light coming from the source of light is blocked or disturbed by an object something blocks the path of light shadows are longer in the morning and evening while shorter in the afternoon they are always formed on the side opposite to the source of light and may be bigger or smaller than the object scientific fact shadows always appear to be black or dark knowledge of sound we hear a variety of sounds like chirping of birds barking of dogs ringing of doorbells screaming of children etc throughout the day but what actually is sound sound is a form of energy both living and non living things can produce sound almost everything in our surrounding makes sound sound is produced by vibrating objects some sounds are pleasant we enjoy listening to these sounds playing musical instruments bird chirping listening to music loud sounds are unpleasant sounds they are also called noise they are harmful for our ears loud music honking a car horn noise in classroom scientific fact light travels faster than sound that is why you see lightning before you hear thunder force a force is a push or a pull that causes an object to move or stop moving every time you pull the door of your cupboard to open it and push it to close it is all because of force force can move an object stopping a moving object change the direction of an object change the speed of a moving object and change the shape of an object all the actions are done by the help of force force can move an object force can stop a moving object force can change the direction of an object friction friction is caused when two objects touch or rub each other it is a kind of force that slows down the movement a moving ball stops due to friction when friction is less things slide when friction is high things do not move friction helps to walk if there was no friction everyone would keep slipping off a slippery floor due to little friction roller skates reduce friction